to our data science project, cross-cell prediction using neural network. So in this part of our project, we're going to dive deeper into our analysis. In our previous lesson, we have actually divided our data set into two, the categorical one and the numerical one. So this one divides our data set into two. So let's run this one. Okay, so our data is now divided. So let's dive deeper into categorical data. So let's have the describe function for us to be able to know what our date categorical data is all about. Okay, so ID, we have 31,647 IDs. So we say these are our customers. So all in all, we have 31,647 total customers, unique customers. This one is, of course, the ID number. So each one of them has only one policy contract. Now let's go to jobs. So based on this, the blue color job clients that we have in this company is the most number of clients that we have having 6,842 of them. The marital status, we have the married. Married people have the most number of policy contracts. That's 19,095. For the education, those who have earned secondary education have the most number of contracts. So these are 16,224. Then for the housing, okay, it's actually more than 50% of our clients have housing. More than 50% says that they don't have any loans. We have 20,000. So that's actually two-thirds of our clients say that they use or they have cellular phones. And for the subscribed, most of them, around 90%, uh, 95, 96, 97% says that they don't subscribe to the 7,932. Okay, sometimes just having these numbers would be not easily understandable because our eyes are actually very visual. We are very visual human beings. So for that, and also if we want to know some other unique values for these features, then we may as well have to deal with each feature. So to do that, we're going to do this function. So for every categorical column, for every cat column in dfcat, that means for every column in this data set, which is categorical data, we're going to print the value counts. So let's execute this one so we would know. Okay, so this is actually just the ID. Then this one's the job type. So the blue color, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then including the unknown, we have 12 job types. And that is the blue color has the most number followed by the management and the unknown has the least one. So these people did not signify doing the contract, the filling out of forms maybe for the marital status. So we have three, the married, single, and divorced. So those who are divorced have the least number of policy contracts. As you can see here, for the education type, unknown has the least number. The most number is secondary, followed by the tertiary. And then for those who are in default, so we have the no, which is the most number, and a very meager amount, very less amount, only for those who have defaulted in their payment of their monthly bill or monthly contribution. So that's just 585. Then those who have cellular phones, 20,000. So you could see um, there are also those who are having telephone and those who have unknown. Also, we have this, okay, the day. Then we have the months. Then we have the probability of outcome. So unknown is 25,000, the failure, other and success. That means the probability of possibly having another contract, policy contract. And subscribed is 3,000. So subscribed, it means uh, the company has, for example, a newsletter or other forms of information of the new products and everything about the company, uh, monthly updates, weekly updates about the company, no, is 27,000. Actually, almost 28,000. 
okay so sometimes just having this gun is not actually very friendly to our eyes very friendly to understanding at one glance so with that we need to have a visual so we're going to have them uh, most of them because others may not be that important say for example day and month so let's have the job first okay just having this one executed then we would be able to know so here we have also signified for each bar the number that is associated to each job type so we have this the blue color actually the blue color and the management have almost um similar number so these two and also the te technician so i would like to include that these three are very crucial to the growth of the company because they have the most number so you can actually um find the percentage of their proportion of the total number of the clients that we have in the company for the marital status let's see let's execute this and of course the married and followed by the single it's very interesting that divorced people don't have that many number of that much number of contracts and in fact the number of policy contracts of a single people are twice than that of the divorced so of course married people is very understandable because they have children um they have more properties like for example car they have houses so these things need to have contracts too what about the education let's have this one and those who have secondary education have the most number of insurance policies followed by the tertiary and those who have um, primary education have the least so for now i don't want to consider the unknowns because they can be distributed into these three education levels so 16,000 9,000 4,000 so we can see that um, secondary education have more or less 50 percent of the total policies issued by the company and those who have defaulted let's see we have very minimal number of those who have defaulted their payments or contributions let's have the housing so it's very interesting that those who have housing have higher number of insurance policies in comparison to those who don't have housing so these people are really very much concerned about their houses about the upkeeps and in cases of emergencies like fire conflagration and um, earthquakes and other disasters and they're very concerned about that what about the loans let's see okay so most of our clients don't have loans in fact this constitutes more or less 95 percent of our total client base so this is actually very much good because it means to say that our clients are really very financial literacy conscious they are able and they have the ability to pay let's have the contacts okay, most of them have of course cellular phones and also very minimal of them have telephones so i think it's very understandable because telephone nowadays not that very necessary it's because of the introduction of new technologies and we have cell phones which are very mobile you can just bring them anywhere you want let's have the probability of outcome let's have this one so unknown and this is something that must be dealt with um properly go we'll back to this one first then let's see what this one is the outcome okay unknown yeah unknown is really the most number subscribed let's see okay so so this is something that the company has to take note of it could be that most of those who have the tendency of not subscribing where is it i mean not subscribing but it's uh where is it defaulting this one maybe they don't have or they have not subscribed to the newsletters or other marketing campaigns of the company yeah that's how you do it so in our next lesson we're going to have the numerical data if you want to know more about this channel just click these cards we do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials deep learning mathematics and a lot more here you can always learn an upskill for free